Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another Jack-specific 5-inch Simpsons video. I've been having an absolute blast with these. Wave 1 was so much fun. The deluxe figures for Wave 1 were even better, but lo and behold, happened into my local Walmart and sitting there right on the store shelves, finally, the original 90s swap meet superhero, Bartholomew J. Simpson, a.k.a. Bartman. And on the back side of the packaging, you will see Bartman with all of his accessories that he will come with, along with the rest of Wave 1, making him a Walmart exclusive for Wave 1. And here's the barcode. I'll put a link down in the description below. So if you want him, hopefully you can grab him soon. Now, the secret origins of Bartman come from the episode Three Men in a Comic Book. When Bart and Lisa head to the local Bymon Sci-Fi Con, Bart wants to get free admission, dresses up like his favorite superhero, and is promptly told, never heard of him, full price. But you've undoubtedly heard of Bartman if you were a 90s Bongo Comics fan, of which this action figure definitely hails from. Along with most of the merchandise, the look of Bartman back in the 90s, especially the NES game, Bartman meets Radioactive Man. Gorgeous artwork, of course, the gameplay, the game itself, oof, no thanks. Now. In the 90s, the merchandise for Bart Simpson, usually Bart has an orange t-shirt, but the merchandise always had him having a blue shirt, which primarily was due to a goof that never was really corrected until much later. So that's why you see a blue shirted Bart with old action figures, dolls, whatnots. Even the arcade game had Bart Simpson as a blue shirted miscreant, but in the truest sense, Bartman from the cartoon would just be Bart in his orange shirt with the purple mask and the cape. And if you're interested in something more along those lines, Super 7 recently did a Simpsons Ultimates figure. And as of now, yes, this would be your only option, but I wouldn't put it past Jack Specific to eventually come out with their own version. I guarantee you. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Jack Specific 5-inch Simpson line, the Walmart exclusive, the one, the only, Bartman. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging for Bartman, and it really is the perfect exclusive, also blue being a Favorite color of Walmart, go figure. He comes with the same exact skateboard as Wave 1's orange shirted Bart Simpson. It would have been cool to maybe change the design on this, but I get why they did it. But this one was definitely an accessory that I felt was missing from the Wave 1 Bart Simpson with the orange shirt. It is a slingshot pulled back with a rock in it. I do wish that they painted the rock, but I do wish that there was an option to maybe take the string off or be able to put it in his back pockets like Dennis the Menace. That would have been kind of cool. And now with Bartman himself, and like I said in prior videos, don't get mad at Jack Specific if they start doing variants of the yin yang for all these different characters because it totally fits within the context of the show. I do want to point out though, I did get a chance to go through a few in the store I got the best looking one, some of the eyes, some of the paint around the mask was kind of off in some ways. So if you get a chance to go through a few, make sure you get yourself a good looking Bartman. He's gonna have that same articulation as Wave 1 Bart. He has more of that mechanical articulation. The head will move, the arms, the elbows, the legs. It seems to be a lot more fluid this go around as opposed to the orange shirted Bart, just FYI, now he has the purple cape, he has the mask, you can see all his hair, it totally works. This is a very fun figure, so I highly recommend it, but I'm also having a lot of fun with this Simpson line. In terms of the head portrait though, now, do you think we could swap the head portraits? What do you think? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, the cape, is actually pegged in. There's a peg on the back of this figure which it adheres to the cape, so it's glued in there. So you would have to do your own customization. I'm not going to do that here. However, I will pull the head off, go very slowly, and you can see right underneath the cape, yes, the head will come off, you can swap those, but the cape, as of now, is a no-go. But you can clearly see, yes, and I would imagine Jack Specific will eventually release a blue-shirted Bart, minus the cape. And like I said, you can customize it, you can cut the cape off, you can do whatever you'd like, but he's gonna have a big blue peg on his back that that's how the cape adheres to the back of his back. But you can have the masked Bart with the orange shirt, that looks good. 
So I guess if you want to pop the cape off, you could undoubtedly make your own as well. But again, what is fun is that this is the perfect variant. You have Bart's and Bart's with their skateboards, and now you have a slingshot. The Bartman does have a fisted hand and an open hand. He can hold the slingshot, but then you kind of have to fudge it a little bit to kind of give off the idea that he's pulling back the rock with the slingshot. An open hand like the orange shirted Bart Simpson would have been more preferable, but I'm not going to complain too much because this Bart Simpson can totally hold the slingshot and do all of that easy peasy. But Bartman definitely goes well with Radioactive Man, so you can recreate all those old NES game team ups. And if you want to give Bartman a flight stand, you could totally do that too. So you can give him a piece of string, get him flying in like Batman, whatever you want to do. But the nice thing is, is that at least for me, I would say that all the characters thus far released go together well. Some people have said, well, Bart's a little bit too tall. Yes and no, it really doesn't bother me. In terms of keeping up with the articulation, they're going to have to make him a teensy bit bigger than he should be in the show. So like I said, it works for me. It looks cool. And this Bartman is definitely a great addition. So that is going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Jack Specific from their 5-inch Simpsons line. The Walmart exclusive, and I say that with an asterisk, as far as we are aware, it might just be first to market, but I think it's safe to say it is a Walmart exclusive Bartman. And I'm having a great deal of fun with this line. These are great figures. They're well articulated. They're 13 bucks each. I don't really have all that many nitpicks with them. I mean, even the $25 deluxe figures light up or they have a gimmick. These are just good old fashioned fun Simpsons toys. So looking forward to wave two and beyond and whatever else they're cooking up. And yeah, you can expect more videos like this from me coming soon. So you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Bartman. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, keep the fun a coming, Jack Specific. And I would say undoubtedly, at least sometime in the future, I may get into the 2.5 inch line. I don't want to, but you never know what's going to happen. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.